Oh, I didn't order that. I know. I thought you could do with the treat. Treat would be a two-week trip to Hawaii. Hawaii is overrated. Shangri-La. Shangri-La's a myth. Are you kidding? With the skiing. Kara. Oh, hi, Peter. This is Dara. Hi. Sorry to interrupt, but I need to speak to Kara. Later. <laughs> Did you get my email? Yeah, but I haven't opened it yet. Open it. Aren't you a little young to be buying property? My Uncle Terry's selling this house. Last week, a family took a look and their son vanished. He returned after a couple hours saying that he'd been teleported to a beach. Oh, you know what kids are like, they make stuff up. True. And the nearest beach is at least an hour away. But here's the kicker. The kids' shoes were full of sand. Even you have to admit that's strange. I asked Uncle Terry if I could take a look. He said I can go around today. Peter... I know you think I'm nuts. I really think this could be something. Do you want to come with me? Mm. Why do I even bother asking? There couldn't be anything there because Kara Glenn doesn't believe in spooky stuff or magic. Okay, I'll come. Really? I like to keep an open mind. Music to my ears. <laughs> Let's go. What, Dad? I delivered them six baguettes. Why can't they make up their minds? All right, I'm coming. I have to make a delivery. Mm. See you back here? Mm -hmm. Your friend's in a hurry? Problem? Peter thinks he's found a haunted house. I said I'd go with him and check it out. Does this look like a haunted house to you? Your friend might be right. What? We should take a look. Excuse me. Yes? Could you move? You're in my way. I'm not finished here. You've been here a while. I wasn't aware there was a time limit. Ladder, move. Ladder, stay. How long are you going to be? As long as I need to be. Did somebody you know live here? Edward Boynton, the architect who designed the library. I met him when my parents had him around for dinner. Talented guy. Elf, obviously. But the library's awesome and this house isn't. Our world's hidden in plain sight. It's better to keep things low key. What's supposed to have happened here? Ladder, come here, please. Hey! I wasn't finished. Tough. Ladder, come back. Ladder, here. Ladder, come here. Be careful, that is quite sensitive. How can a lump of wood be sensitive? Nothing inside. The architect is clever. We could be looking at something magical and we'd never even know. The boy said he ended up on a beach. I think I'd know if I saw a beach. You checked down the side? Mm -hmm. Anything? Uh, not yet. There's nothing here. Any luck? Jara? Aren't you a bit old to be playing hide-and-seek? I was wondering when you'd get in. <laughs> Where are we? Tell me if I'm wrong. But I think it's a beach. <laughs> the beach where that boy went. That's the portal we both just came through. He must have found it too. But he freaked out. <laughs> we should report it to the DMI. Can't have an open portal around for people to fall through. I'll call Peter and tell him there's nothing there. No signal. 
So what's, what's the deal with uh, Peter? Is he your boyfriend? Uh, Peter and I grew up together. He's like a brother, except I don't have to share a bathroom with him. Where's the portal gone? It should be right here. It's not. How are we going to get back? Ladder, here. No ladder, here, please. Here. 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 Stop it, you're confusing the poor thing. It's a ladder. How can it get confused? Ladder, come here. It's your fault. You both upset Ladder. Oh. I warned you. You really upset it. It's all right, Ladder. We better clean this up. Have fun. You did this too. You started it. I did not. Enough! I'm gonna get a juice. And when I get back, you better have this cleared up or else. Or else what? I've read a lot of these books, so I know a lot of stuff. Stuff you've never heard of. Stuff you don't want to have heard of. Do I make myself clear? She can be scary. Hmm. Let's get this done. We can't be trapped. That boy got out. Relax. We can jump. Uh, assuming you didn't mean to do that? Well, this place is a magical construct. The rules of magic must be different. <laughs> the architect built this? Like I said, it's hard to guy. Any idea where that portal went? Well, if they've been in place so long, they can become unstable. Appear and disappear at random. So it might come back. Or it might not. <sighs> we should look for another way out. Kyra, where are you? I'm ready to go. Call me. Oh. I'm so sorry. Are you okay? Fine. Don't I know you? Uh, hot dog boy from the basketball game. You had mustard on your chin. Fashion choice, obviously. It's all the rage. Dragonflies or gazelles? What? Which team are you supporting? Oh, uh, dragonflies? Great win, eh? Yeah. <laughs> so, do you know Kyra Glenn? Yes. Have you seen her? She's meant to meet me here. Yes. We're meant to check out this haunted house. Of course it's not really haunted. <laughs> Only an idiot would think that. But something odd did happen there. I better get going. Who knows? Might want to buy it. <laughs> Kidding. Go dragonflies! Wait. Um we should we should go together. Why? Because I, I like looking at houses. It's my hobby. Looking at houses? Is something wrong with that? No, no, it's just unusual. I'm Peter. Let's see. According to my dad, he was a celebrity. He designed the DMI building too, and then one day he just dropped out of sight. So, where is he now? Good question. Once the library was built, he was never seen again. Hey! Kyra. Maybe he's still here. Hello! Give it up. Look, he's gone. There's nothing here. You were saying? Mr. Boynton! W what are you doing? Going in. 
What if he's, you know, dead? And his body's in there. Not scared, are you? Well, I'm just cautious. Spiders. These are drawings of the library. This must be where he designed it. Is that him? Yeah. I wonder what he's so happy about. Is that? <laughs> Cute mermaid. No wonder he's smiling. So when I heard this kid disappeared, I'm thinking. Maybe he fell into a parallel universe. Have you heard about that stuff? You mean like the multiverse? You know about it? <laughs> Why are you surprised? No reason. It's just unusual to find someone who knows about it. I mean, unusual in a good way. <laughs> it looks pretty ordinary to me. Appearances can be deceiving. We should take a look. That's trespassing. My uncle's a real estate agent. He said it was okay. Come on. Nothing's strange here. We should go. Aha! Uh -huh. What? Sand. What's so interesting about sand? Uncle Terry said that the kid who disappeared came back with sand in his shoes. How do you explain that? There was a sand bit here. Come on, let's go. I suppose. I was sure there'd be something here. Maybe I am that side. Ow! What's wrong? Twisted my ankle. Are you okay? I think so. Can you help me out to the street? Sure. This place is a bust. Maybe he took off with the mermaid. <laughs> we should check the beach. about it I touched it and then I was in the library you mean you imagined you were in the library no I was there I could see Lily and Imogen I could see them but they couldn't see me how is that possible some kind of magical connection maybe can you do it again I don't know try Dancing. We 
My sister is dancing. Are you sure that's her? She's not bad either. <laughs> what do you think it means? You know what? He might have just found us a way out of here. Sure you're okay? It's fine. I just must have stepped in it the wrong way. Sorry to drag you off in a wild goose chase. It's okay. Sorry you didn't find anything. It's cool. Thanks for coming. I guess I'll see you around. I guess. <laughs> Try and attract their attention. Call their names. Lily, Lily, Lily. Imogen, Lily, Lily. up, move. It's no good. They can't hear me. So much for that plan. But I think Ladder did. Well, if Ladder could talk, he could tell them where we are. Dara, you're a genius. I could have told you that. <laughs> How do you mean? Uh, good job. Thanks. You took your time. I ran into Kairos and Peter at the cafe, and guess what? We went to the architect's house. You did it. How did you know it was his house? I don't only read books about magic, you know. What did his house look like? I bet it was big. Small, actually, but there was a portal in the backyard. What's Lada doing? I'm Lada. Aisle 75, shelf 3. Said it again, did you? Huh? Aisle 26. No, wait. Okay? But dizzy. Come on. Let's get some fresh air. A book on Boynton, a book on ships, a book on beaches, and a book on houses. What does this mean? Maybe the books are wrongly shelved and Ladder didn't like it? Boynton, the architect. Funny, I was just at his house. Boy had sand in his shoes. The books are a message. Architect, house, beach, and that flag on the ship, it means help. Someone's trying to tell us they're at the architect's house. Kyra, you said Peter couldn't find her. He also said the boy who visited the house found a beach. And now Kyra's on it. Uh, how is that possible? Through the portal I saw, and she needs help to get back. That is so clever. How did Kyra do this? Where's this portal? It's gone. How will we get Kyra back? We need to look for magical residue. How will we get out of here? If you had to be stuck somewhere, this place isn't so bad. Dad lost mom. If he loses me, too, it'll be the end of him. Don't worry. We'll work it out. There it is! It's almost gone! We need to re-energize it. What if they don't get it? Then we've got a beach house with a million dollar view we don't have to pay for. <laughs> Kyra! Roxy! We're 
We're here! We're here! Hurry before it closes! <laughs> it's okay, Lily. We're fine. You all right? Of course. Wasn't worried for a moment. <laughs> You're such a liar. Even though I wasn't in the library, I could make Bada pull out the books that I wanted. How is that possible? It's a mystery, you'll have to admit. Did you notice anything in the shack? Any peculiar objects? None. Has anyone else ever done this? Not to my knowledge, but I'll check. The main thing is that you're safe. But in future, don't go poking your nose into places you don't understand. You'd look unsightly without one. Has anyone ever told you you're funny? Yes. But they were joking. <laughs> Lucky your message got through. Yeah. Imagine if we'd been stuck on that beach. We would have driven each other nuts. Total disaster. For sure. <laughs>